So it is seven o'clock, and I observe that we do have a quorum. Um, I'd like to call this meeting of the Town of Richmond American Rescue Plan Act Committee to order May 10th, 7 p.m. We are recording, correct? We are recording. Okay. So, greetings, everybody. Um, we begin with welcome to public comment. Does a member of the public have a comment related to something not on the agenda? Okay. Jeff. I would have a, a suggestion that. Uh, particularly in this case of we introduced ourselves to a right. gracious audience. Okay. So, Jeff, you start. Well, I'm Jeff Forward. I'm, I'm on the select board. I have been for the past year and a half or so, uh, and we welcome you. I'm Josh Arneson. I'm the town manager. I met with some of you in your class a few months ago, so good to see you all again, and thank you for coming. Mary Bull, Arpa. For a select board chair and our chair, and we have one more member of the committee coming in locally. I mean, remotely, Rachel. Hi, I'm Rachel Lohia, local business member and Richmond resident. Okay, and then you would. I'm Emily Wood, I'm a school librarian at Richmond Elementary. I'm Hermie Lane and Roll, and I am the enrichment teacher and also an art teacher there. I'm Morgan Broadwood, and I am a student. Yeah, okay. I'm Lisa and I'm also a great student. Fuck me. I'm Mary with Babe. I'm her mother. I can tell the least of them. I'm Bailey Weir, also a student at home. I'm Mary Bradford, a student parent. Uh, Lauren Weir. And Heidi Gorman's cemetery trustee. I just want to say I love your dress. If I could get a wine shirt, <laughs> I'm not even kidding. If I could get one shirt, I'd still so wear it. <laughs> okay. So um, I just want to thank everybody for coming tonight. On um, looks like a really pretty night. I've been locked inside all day. Um, does anybody have any additions or deletions to the agenda? Okay, seeing none. Our first item of business is to review minutes from the April 12th meeting. Does anybody have any questions, comments, concerns, additions, corrections, deletions to those minutes? I'd like to move the minutes. Okay, we, have motion. we have a motion from Carol Bouncing and a second from Mary Hull. Is there any discussion? Seeing none, please state your name and your vote. Carol Bouncing, aye. Mary Hull, aye. Jeff Forward, aye. Rachel, aye. And I'll, I'll abstain. I wasn't here. Okay. And Jay and I. Okay. Um, before we go any further, I just realized Josh is here typing like a madman <laughs> because we do need to record everybody in attendance. Did you get everybody's name? Uh, I put Emily Wood in the fourth grade class. There we go. Does that work for everybody? Yeah. <laughs> we skipped Josh for introductions. No, Josh, no, 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 I guess I know enough. You are laughing. Right. <laughs> okay. <you are. laughs> I think it's coming up now. Normally, when you use Josh, there's crumpets. Maybe it's done too long. <laughs> you walk in the garden all day. Do we have a certain order of what the presentation? Can you just refresh my memory? Right. So, the agenda tonight is after we've done the minutes, which we just did, presentation from Richmond Elementary School fourth grade class, discussion of proposals from the Richmond Cemetery Commissioners, discussion of finalizing recommendations to the select board, and next steps. So, Josh, I believe you have the presentation where you can play it. I do. Okay. So Josh will put it up on the screen, but then it will be your show. So thank you for coming in. And we look forward to hearing from you. Thanks for having us. Thank you. So you want me to, I guess, you want to introduce the video or do you want to show the video? You want to mark? It might be, make it a little easier to see. I don't know. Maybe we should close the door so we're all because this is going so this is this year's presentation that this group of students and their their classmates have come up with. Um, there, it, we also have another short clip from last year's group. They also um, completely on their own came up with the same policy or same community problem and solution as this class. They might not get a chair. I 
Okay. Maybe you, you might want to introduce yourself to our agenda. Right. We have two more committee members. Hi, I'm so sorry. I'm late. I was sitting on the stairs not knowing where this meeting yeah, was. Yeah. So, hello, welcome. I'm Molly Dugan, and I also serve on the ARPA committee, and I live down in the Jonesville part of town. Hi, yeah, I'm Tom Lyle. Good to see you all. Um, a little bit fun, Jackway Road. Okay, so we have accepted the minutes, and I apologize for the thought of everything in here right now, but two shoulder. <laughs> yes, <laughs> yeah. Okay, um, and we were just about to hear the presentation from the Richmond Elementary School fourth grade class, so we can continue with that. So, sure. Yeah. Start the video for you. Okay. All right. Hopefully, the audio. Yeah. Or, you know, we'll get a pair. We're actually we'll recording get... the whole meeting right now. Okay. And we, and we have the video to share. Uh, Ms. Rosette has it to, and she'll be emailing it. Okay. Okay. So this is the one you want? This is the video? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. All right. So how do I share the. Is there, if you want to remember, is there a speaker I can um that's it would help in the last and isn't there a sharing mechanism on oh here? yeah yes actually say stop share okay. and then share again but this time include okay the check marks there that say um okay. share sound and optimize for video clip in the lower left hand corner oh all right no no right there in the dialogue box oh, again, share sound. There. there we go and share and we actually get us audio I would think, well, if we're not hearing an audio, we would like it if you can consider an idea for an yeah, email. Maybe Where I do have this turned away, up. Right? Is it coming out of the owl? It might be as a volume. Technology, isn't it great? Mm -hmm. It looks like an owl. Oh, yeah. Okay. Is the computer turned on the way up? Good evening. We are Mr. Rose's fourth grade class, and we are working towards teacher from the community. So the, the speaker's over there, yes. That next one over there. Next one over there. Oh, yeah, that's all right. If you click here, does it say it's projecting to the owl or is it doing that? Yes, something? actually, that's a great point. Are we it hearing? It's voice down there. It's on voice. Um, <laughs> Uh, let's check. Let's check this. If you go back to your mobile oh, really? Zoom settings, yeah. stop sharing. Okay, go down to your video settings in the lower left. You don't have to stop it. Just hit the little arrow next to it and go to um, video settings. Video settings. And I raise the whole thing. I go to the third tab down on you. Okay. Now um, the microphone is the meeting owl. And the speaker is moving on. Do me a favor, click on test speaker up at the top. So we... That's working. That's not the issue. It should be going to the owl. So mm -hmm. I... um, click at the very bottom original sound for musicians. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that, and that, that's everything I can think of. Okay. Wait, okay. is Rachel? In there was a bot. bot. Below that. Rachel, what's this chance? Okay. I think oh, they could hear it on there, right? Uh, somebody's saying, can you move the water bottle? Oh, that's that's the water. Yeah. Water. Uh, uh, so let's see. Yeah, so they can hear it on that. Center, room, project, citizen. We would like it if you could consider our idea for an eco friendly community. Yeah. 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 Because we don't want to pollute the earth more than it's really the Albus Thanks for listening. There was a it wouldn't be an art for me if it didn't have one. Yeah, is there a way to turn the projector up? They can all hear at home. So, Rachel, you can hear the video. Yes. So, Rachel can hear the video, but we can't. Yeah. It's, I don't know. 
increase the volume on the shutter button. Can anybody dial in the volume button on the well, we can dial in. Well, I'm dialed in being on that top. But if you just turn your, your sound up for this part of it, oh, yeah. oh, yeah. Your point. I don't I don't know if we'll get feedback, but let's <laughs> bar any other suggestions at this point. Yeah. Recording is progress. Yeah, that's gonna happen. Project. Good after that. That's really good. Problem through policy. What we would like in this community center is a ball pit, dog park. Water I sound like dummy. Good evening, Mayor Mister. It's fourth grade class. My sound is a friendly community center through Project Citizen. Yes, we would like it if you can consider our idea for an eco friendly community center. That's an interesting idea there. We hear it's great. Because we don't want to pollute the earth more than it's already polluted. Thanks for listening. Just jump to the That's where we solve the problem through policy. Okay, okay. I apologize. But I think the problem is that it's the original video. I played it. Well, the interest of the time, can we just have a token installation? All right, I'm going to leave it there. Do you guys remember what you just said? Yes. Yeah. There are a lot of people in there that are saying that they want to learn. Yeah, we can put it to the time. Yeah, like you've been preparing for this. Right, let's hear it. Like this better, right? Oh, good. Yeah. You're, you're, you're going to be presenting all the slides together. So. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, we'll go like you, us, now, you, us. Okay, yeah, we'll do all four. Okay, take your cues from the screen. Um, good evening. We are Mr. Rose's fourth grade class, and we are working towards an eco friendly community. Nobody was reading, so. Here are a couple of reasons why we need it. We would like if you to consider our idea. Project Citizen. What is Project Citizen? Project Citizen is, is when a class comes to, to a consensus. A problem in the community. We, de we design a policy and try to solve it. What we want in the community center. We would like a ball pit, a dog shelter, a food court, a gym, a basketball court, a water park, and a community center pool. Video game center, a soccer field, indoor ice rink, kitchen rooms, rooms for meeting rooms, community garden. And these are not ideas, not, not all of those were. These are ideas okay. to talk about with the yeah. yeah. These are like one friends. Yeah, like one friend, one, one, one person. person. Two more ideas. Yeah. Okay. And we want it to be, we want it to be LGBT equality. We want to have LGBT, like, anyone can be LGBT. Why? The problem and the solution. Why are we doing why are we doing this? <laughs> the problem is we don't have a community center in Richmond. Our community needs one because the most community center in Vermont is in Jericho. It is very important to have a community center instead of driving 20 fully in because we need to go. Yeah, we need somewhere to go. Instead of driving 20 minutes to get to Jericho. Richmond. Residents, yeah, Richmond residents really want to go to a pool or go play games or even play basketball. Oh, um, instead of staying at home, that's why the community center will bring our town and those around us. Why make it eco friendly? The world is rapidly changing because of climate change, deforestation, and pollution. This is destroying species, making curfews in the world unsafe. You, me, and everyone can help stop this by making the community center eco-friendly. 
No, that's not for you. Yeah, yeah, no, 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 we don't read them. Here are some of the ways we can make it eco friendly. Solar panels, collect rainwater, use recycled materials, winter good insulation, good source and heat pump, ground plumbing. Okay. South side should have lots of windows and less electricity. No, you know. Offices and toilets. Use use as little water as possible. Lots of trash things. <laughs> and I'm serving out. This is like. Do we also have the? Is there anything these guys in that instrument? Like no, the, the, we're showing the information okay. that came from the that was generated by the center. So the hundred fifty. Can say what we did? What is the? Who did we survey? Yeah. So we surveyed. People from Richmond, Richmond Bolton, 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 Huntington. Around. Yeah, and the people who said no, I think they were just being rude. <laughs> <laughs> and the people who said maybe were just like, <laughs> yeah, we're, we're not, we're not analyzing this with that data right now. We're just going to we're being objective and sharing what it says. We start like all over eighteen. Uh, about one hundred fifty-two responses. Yeah, that's fantastic. Yeah. This project can't support approval of what we we should be willing to do. So fifty eight percent said yes. This was the before. Wasn't this before? And then that was the after. No, I thought no. this was one of the questions. No, 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 yes, yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. Mm -hmm. This many was yeah, and fifty. Uh, yeah, okay, that yeah. must be it. And then, oh, and then, yeah, well, well, the towns, most of the most people live in Richmond. Yeah, and then Huntington. Red and Huntington is the, the second one. Yeah. 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 And these are what would you like in the community center? We let people decide these and the computer sort of these. So this is the one percent. <laughs> um, up these to over here are like a lot of a lot of them. Like when you word them, when you word them, like they don't go in the same category, they go in different. But pickleball is a big free state. Want it the same thing, but they put it in like a different form, like a shape uh, room or a multi purpose room. Yeah, more like yeah. a shape room. Yeah, room. As, as a basketball court. Yeah, yeah. Like, Basically, so the test is of the. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. The, most, the thing that most people did not hear was the large vault. Yes, yeah. and the yeah. big vault, yeah. which I think the large vault. Yeah, they yeah. would use the. Um, yeah, the where did the community center be located? Center of time. Near the water. In the ancestral. Not, not in the flood. 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 How many people could maybe donate your rent? And 98% now. 100%. Out of 100%. 2% people said maybe. So, no, yes. Yeah. That's hard. Yeah. Okay. What time were the 2%? Uh, 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 well, first of all, I want to say thank you for what you did. Yes. Um, I want to just let you know that hopefully at the next ARPA meeting, there's a UVM student who did a park redesign for the park that addresses a lot of the things that you just listed on your list. Not a building, not a structure. So the, the whole issue of making sure it's insulated properly and that kind of thing wasn't on the list, but pickleball, dog outfit, yeah. basketball pool core, a lot of those things are on that redesign. So I invite you all to watch via video 
the next ARPA committee meeting where the student actually presents. So some of your ideas are being presented by somebody who's graduating from the museum this month. What is what is ARPA? American Rescue Plan Act. When the COVID, when COVID was at its peak, U.S. government realized this was impacting the economy of pretty much everywhere in the nation, and so the money was divided up to towns, states, local agencies, um, and it was meant to be used for either promoting the health of the community from being oversimplifying or helping stimulate the economy. The recreational uses would clearly come under the heading of uh, stimulating their health. And by doing the construction projects that are getting involved, the economy, mm -hmm. yeah, jobs to the mm -hmm. local residents. Mm -hmm. uh, Other question, Mary. No, thank you. You want to have this good question. You're going to not let them. <laughs> they did a great presentation. They covered how many people they served. Okay, so what I have to say the ARPA money is a buyout by the federal government. <laughs> so it's probably better that I not say anything because of the pandemic. <laughs> so I'm glad to see at least you folks aren't wearing masks because there's still some idiots. And I think if you can say people are being rude, I can say idiots are still wearing masks. So thank you for your presentation. And I hope this does go forward with some elements of what you folks presented. I'm sure you know that it won't all come true, but they're very well done. And I'm glad you came prepared in case there was the failure of the suit. Thank you. Molly, Tom, the man loved the ground for us. He could play here. Whenever you came up with that, that one, that's a... Uh, yeah. So, Pretty much okay. a cutting edge technology. Right? There's, in a book that we read. Okay. There's in a book that we read about. Very good. Construction. I was curious how you all, you had such thoughtful questions. I mean, you had thoughtful information shared from the survey. Mm -hmm. So I'm curious, how did, what was your process for coming up with questions? Well, um, we considered we consider the whole class and thought about if we actually had this, what would people actually want? Okay. And like, and we can, what would people need? Mm -hmm. And like, they want this at all. And we considered the like, um, just what we have in Richmond mm -hmm. and what we don't have in Richmond and what we might need. Right. But like, if we only thought about what we wanted, like other people would not. Right. right. So, you, so you tried to take in other people's other point of view. Fantastic. Okay. And how did you get the people to survey? Was it by computer? Was it by going out? Yeah. By proxy. So, um, one of the really important questions that the select board has to consider in the ARPA committee is money. Have you have you thought about what you know what this might cost and who might pay for it? Well, we were so we were thinking like maybe when we were, thinking, we were presenting this to you, we know costs would be an issue, and the fact that like we yeah yeah we're just kids we you you pay the money for other stuff that the town needs we um. We were we were thinking sorry I was thinking, um, we were thinking about using the COVID relief funds mm -hmm. for some of this. Mm -hmm. um, I think if that was something that we could take money from, we definitely use it. This you could also like get to people who wanted the community being centered to the donation money, money mm -hmm. like donations for like those who really wanted like mm -hmm. the, the amount of yes uh, and like the amount of people that said like they would and like um the the so we knew that most of the things like we wanted and like that not like not all of them maybe like pickleball and maybe have to do so many Ooh, Miss Key's coming in. That's our teacher. <laughs> Best teacher ever. Oh, so good. We have a question in the chat from Rachel. Rachel says, where would the kids envision this community? Well, so we have this 
Eo, my best friend. Yeah. He is um his family is a has the Conan farm <laughs> and they have some land that they're not using. Maybe. So, yeah, maybe. he said that like <laughs> maybe, <laughs> maybe, maybe, maybe. <laughs> but he said there's a couple of land spots that they have that they're not using. And that's like right in between like what Richmond and like Williston. So like we were thinking maybe there or that one was really nice. Yeah, it started. Yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. that's what I call. So, um, and also a river, so like we can have a river source and power, and from the river, we can have a river. Since it's in like a very like public, like place, like that's a good like crossing. I feel like it's very easy to get which kind of closed and then like, and I feel like it would be like good to place it there because. Like all of you said, there was like an extra like like place that they said they would maybe donate, and like that's a big so and maybe that would work. Mm -hmm. And we're also thinking of maybe taking some of the land from space. A little bit. And if like there's any open land that like no one's using and no one's planning on using, we can like use like, it just right there. Yeah. Okay. Well. I, we probably need to move on, AJ. We've got other things good. on our agenda. We really appreciate it. We really appreciate it. You know, and some of the things you proposed seem pretty plausible, actually, considering the other suggestions we've gotten. So we'll be in touch as things go forward. And, you know, as many things as we can do, we'll let you guys know. Thank you. Thank you so Thank much. You. We really appreciate it. Well done. And it's 2024. And it's 2024. And about 15 minutes, 20 years. I want so many of us. I'm sitting right here on the side. Very good. Good place. Yeah. Heidi, do you want to move closer so we can actually see you'll be on camera? Thank you. So, our next agenda item is a proposal from the Richmond Cemetery Commissioners, which um, I know. I know. I'm glad they went first. They did really good. And they did it on fourth graders. Did it? I know. We're on a, a time. I got it, Jen. I got the look. Come on, I don't know. I, I promise they will make a select board meeting. Okay, now we go from. Pickleball to fourth grade. There's no reason to be on today. This is what you get to look forward to. There's some definitions. Your inventory is open land. <laughs> uh, uh, don't go there, Joe. Okay, so um, we're back on the agenda. You wanted, Jeff, you wanted some pictures of what it would look like. Yes. I've got pictures, Linda. Very nice. Did those? Mm -hmm. Okay. She um, also, there is what we're trying to really promote is beautification, one around the cemetery, as we talked about before. We do have another issue that we're a little bit more concerned about, too, is with some other recreation that's been happening in the cemetery with damage. And actually, we have a hammock in the cemetery. And this would eliminate, hopefully, those sort of issues um, going forward. I thought I'd seen it all better. No, so that's why pictures say a thousand words. <laughs> so there is that, there is that. Um, so we just, did, I'm sorry. So this is just this is connecting two, between two trees. It's in the back. Okay. Yeah. And so, um, that we also have this survey of the surrounding property from Buttermilk. So it shows exactly where the survey is of the property of where what we're talking about. Okay. And pretty much other than that, it is pretty self-explanatory of what we're looking for. And the firm, you have a particular firm, right? Yes. So it's FER sensing that we would be working with. They are local, um, they are in Williston. We are working with, um, in the last packet, we are working with 
Yeah. We are working with um I want to say that. We're working with them. We are also working with straightening out the cemetery um stones mm -hmm. that have been turned over. Um mm -hmm. and we're working with that, you know, getting cleaned up. So that is pretty much what everything that we are proposing. Mm -hmm. I think it's a great idea. If you look around Vermont, I mean most cemeteries have, that I think have been through. All of the one in Huntington looks like something to go to the time. Yeah. But, um, Can you remind me of the dollar? Right. It is right here. Oh, yeah, Does anyone else want right. to refresh? The dollar amount was going to be 22353 Yeah. Does right? anyone want the dollar amount again? Mary? Yeah. If it's still oh, 50000 okay. Pardon? Yeah, sorry. 22, 22 yes. 53, yes. 25 cents. Yeah, that is correct. I don't know if you can do this. Can I just ask if it's okay? Um, okay. I supported this. I voted for it last time. I'll vote for it again. But my concern is, and this is a question for the town manager, is has anybody looked at the tree line between the library and the cemetery to potentially look at the removal of any trees that might be dead or need to be anything needs to be done to them prior to the fencing going up in between those trees and you know, where the fencing would be? My concern is, is they put a fence up and the falls on it because you didn't do any maintenance. Um, and that's what it's called tree. Having an operation, yeah, some like Jake Brown or someone like that from Richmond. And if, if brush and stuff needs to be cleaned mm -hmm. up there, I mean, the new people doing the, the lawn mowing, I saw them picking up all the sticks off the lawn before they mowed the lawn and the brown shirt. They did an excellent job, but mm -hmm. I don't know if anybody's done any work in that tree line area mm -hmm. before a fence goes up. That's my only. Yeah, I don't have a report on that, but it, is it something you could look into if we approve this before the selector approves sure, it? Sure, we should look at it. Rich was asking if we could hold the picture up in front of the camera. Where? That. Just, yeah. Sorry, Rachel. She needs it. Okay. I'm sorry. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> so that's all. I don't mean to add yeah. that to that. I, I, don't, I don't know if this is something or Is it something? Is it something the town crew would do, or is it someone that you would want? Like we we've yeah. always personally. Tree board, we could start with it, maybe. Is that Ethan or Ethan um, Tapper? Who's our tree board? Ethan Tapper is the Chittenden County Forester. Forest. Right. Tree right. warden is Matt and Eddie. Okay. He might be a good spot to start. Okay, I know Matt. That's okay. what I want to do. Is is I talk to Matt. Plenty of time before defense got ordered and installed, and then somebody just checked the trees out to make sure. But he was okay there, and something was dead and had to be removed first. I think it would be best to take care of that first. Yeah. Yep. I right, can call Matt tomorrow. Yeah, that's pretty eligible. Right. So yeah. that's very eligible. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Right yeah. Okay. Um, any other questions for Matt? Yeah. Um, yes. I didn't try to figure out the math. Um, so you had a, a, a proposal from FB Hart, and you had a set of proposals from right. um, Wayne. Yeah. Yes. Uh, the white proposal is third of the cost of that new partner. No, no, no. White is doing the straightening of the stones. Oh. No, white's the installation. And, and for installation. For the installation of the fence. Of the fence. Oh, so every part is. The they only material. sell the material. They do not do installation. That is correct. Okay. Thank you, Karen, for clarifying that. Sorry about that. Is it like is everyone in the same room or are they all just talking? Oh, they might have already done your thing. Yeah, the fourth grade has been and gone, but they were wonderful. Okay. Are there any other questions for Ike? Okay. The next agenda item is finalizing recommendations, third recommendations. We're not trying to finalize all of them. Um, I would entertain a motion at this point to approve $22,353 break. Yep. Okay. Um, we have a motion from Carol Bounty, a second term of Mary Cole to allocate and to recommend to the select board that they allocate $22,353.25 for 
um, repair headstones, adding fence and gate. With the understand that the same amount of money will come directly from the cemetery commission. Okay, so any other discussion? Yeah, I, I guess I have a process question. Mm -hmm. So uh, we have a list of what? Uh, eight this or list right there. Yeah, no. eight or ten different items. Mm -hmm. Um, and the next agenda item is to go through this. Yes, is that correct? Mm -hmm. um, so why don't we do that as part of this process, and why don't we apply the criteria? I would, I would echo. Jeff's statement here. I mean, I think okay. we've gone through this so again. You know, I think last time I suggested yeah. that we oh. vote. That we vote. No, we're not going to approve and vote. I'll bring up the criteria list. I thought last meeting we discussed that we were going to the criteria list on our own because we might have all different opinions mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. vote in which way we believe the criteria fell. That's what I thought. That's where we were at. And I also thought we were talking about voting on all the projects. As of, and I think it's really the date to be a 31st, but I don't know if that. No, we talked about doing it tonight. Don't okay, what? we talked about doing that tonight. Voting on this particular one? Or no, yeah. voting, taking yeah. projects forward. Yes, can we discuss doing that tonight? Um, okay. And go ahead. Question. Uh, I, I thought we were, we had, we had come up with a date when we would get all the projects. To be considered in, I'm confused. What we're talking about. That's what I was um, suggesting. No, trust me on this. Here, can walk and go back and look at the minute. We are not trying to allocate every penny. Yes. But but because we have some items oh. that have reached what I would consider fairly good consensus. Okay. Right. My point that I made a couple of meetings back was we keep talking about having one point two million dollars. Mm -hmm. We do okay. not have. I good, remember this yeah. point, Jay. You don't yeah. need to tell me again. Okay. So. Then Sorry. this is one of the items that was discussed before and has yeah. been brought back to us again. Let's take a quick look at the mm -hmm. criteria. Yeah. Can be allocated and spent. I don't I think we can just, I mean, well, okay. I don't long lasting leverage with matching funds from the commentary commission. Um does it generate future loan savings? Well, we're hoping it would result in less damage to the cemetery. Does it generate future revenue? I don't really see that it does. Um, can it be widely shared and accessible to all residents in the sense that it's their town cemetery. Does it result in improved aesthetics? I would argue that it does. Um, increased public safety? Depends on how you define that. People not going into places they shouldn't be. Increased public wellness? I, I think the people in there are, are not going to get any better. Any questions, comments, concerns? Process. Um, yeah. There, there's no doubt. I mean, if, if we, at, as we said before, if we set a date, I'm just going to throw out June 15 as the date that we vote on all the projects that have been submitted okay. today, we would vote on, and I would say yes. Okay. This is, we've done it a number of times. I will resign the chair if we endlessly keep, keep kicking things. We're not kicking, we're just setting the date to say, let's date. vote that on date the projects. That date was tonight. That date was we still have. We still haven't talked about, we still have others that are uh, yes, and we're going to talk about this too, Tom. Trust me on this. We discussed voting things forward tonight, but not all of them. There were certain things I would be happy to bring up that list. This is the list we have discussed on numerous occasions. The yet green ones we've already voted. The purple ones we did not have prices for. So we mm -hmm. um, we do have actually a price for the final one. The five in the middle, the bridge street, complete streets, these local sites, sidewalk, a pair of headstones, and this recreation items. I have some questions about the recreation items because it's a very nebulous amount. It doesn't say we don't know exactly what we go for, but the others we have discussed and discussed. And I frankly am tired of every week, every meeting being told, let's do it next time. I really am. So you can vote against it if you like, but I believe the motion is in order. If there's any other comment though, please feel free. Yeah. So I would say that I I do I do remember it now as jay said because he did bring up these are the items that have been talked about numerous times so we can kind of box those in this is my memory now tom then we box those in and said okay we will go ahead and uh, look at the criteria and make our individual decisions but then we did say there'll be a drop dead date for any future mm -hmm. um projects and yeah. i believe that was the end of may i thought when it said what i was, believe i believe you're right is that in the minutes I just have to go back and look. I think I may still have them open. Okay, so I I am remembering now there were two different things. So are we voting for all the yellow ones here? No, no. all at once. We're no, going to go one by one. 
So I will say, so are we now back to talking about the cemetery? Mm -hmm. Okay, so um, I understand that um, this is an important project for um, that you know, the commission's bringing forward. Um, I understand that. I, as I reviewed the criteria, um, to me, it just doesn't, it doesn't meet the spirit of the criteria from my perspective. I don't think that fences add beauty. Um, I don't really, in my mind, it's, it doesn't really solve a public safety thing. So as I went through it myself and individually, mm -hmm. it just doesn't rise. And so I will be voting against it, against recommending it. Okay. And, and my opinion is just the opposite. I think it is an issue. It is damaging cost to our community. It is um, uh, a situation where the fence should have been put up when the, the new development went in. It was supposed to be part of that, and it was not put in the requirements. And so the town drops a ball there. Mm -hmm. And so it's the town responsibility. So either the ARPA committee, we can use it for the ARPA committee funds, or they can just go to the select board and ask the select board to use mm -hmm. other funds. But I still think the ARPA committee funds are meant to do improvements to our town. And that's why we came up with a list of 10 different criteria that aren't necessarily the criteria that was put, <laughs> put upon us by ARPA, but it was ones that everybody threw on the table here and added to it. And that's why I had concerns with the whole list of criteria to be with. So it's because I thought it was going to be used against certain projects and only used to, to put forward other people's projects. And this one isn't my project, but I support it. Mm -hmm. Okay. okay. Jeff? So I'm reading the minutes, and in the minutes, uh, the vote for UJ is I'm comfortable with not voting for any of this money until the end of May. We want to do a series of wills all at once at the same time. And that's great. I'd like to accurately say this much is still wide open, and this is this much we have, we have a pretty solid idea. So I'm voting from our Okay. Minutes from last time. And I thought the vote was for all the rest of my red and May. I'm reading further and I said, well, hold, let's hold a vote. It's just a proposal on May 31st. Okay. The question I keep having to me say that is, why do you need to wait? Seriously, why do you need to wait? I think because the reason why it came up before is like the last time, it's like the first time we heard. A proposal that just came up out of out of nowhere. We still have money left. We don't know what's coming next. Well, no, right? we have a pretty good idea what's coming next. We we do. Yes, we do. We know. So we have the town center administration, MMC. Are there others? Potentially, no. My I understanding. I mean, I don't. I don't recall this one being part of the list from way way back. No, it wasn't. But I it was introduced it afterwards. So what's to prevent somebody interviewing or uh, uh, so in the forward one? between now and the end of May with a really kick-ass idea? I think we just we would listen to it. However, I want to remind you that we are not voting on all the money tonight. You keep acting like this is it. If we don't, but if, if we nip, don't nip, nip this in the bud, then we'll be left with making off my idea no money to pay for it. This would leave most of the money or approximately half the money still unspoken for. And that's why I'm just boggled by the idea that we endlessly must delay it. I, I guess my question is: I mean, we're really we're asking for twenty three thousand dollars. It's not money, it's it, not, it, it's but not, it is great because, because I, I, I'm listening to this and I'm hearing the money, and I'm going. This is something I think is so minute yeah. to the characteristic of growing up here adds value to the community. We're working on the library right next door. Yes. We're putting a hundred and we're putting three hundred thousand dollars in the library right next door. Okay. If you guys would look up at the project list again, green, as you know, has an already allocated. Purple, we were holding off because actually the ten thousand dollars we clearly have down there at the bottom. We just had never had it officially presented to us. And Josh is prepared to do that tonight. Um of the remaining money, I've expressed reservations about this much because, and I do have the record the um, wish list from the Recreation Committee. And it needs to be heard and reviewed and hearings held on it and so forth. I don't actually think that we should vote. I don't know which window I had it and it was here. Or maybe it's 
I have, regardless. I have to wait on that one. I'm, I'm yeah, I think we should wait on that one. My point that I'm saying is if we look at the project list that I just had up and went away, um, if we look at the grand totals at the bottom, and that's why I brought this back up, if we spend every penny that's in the green, yellow, and purple, that will total $750,000. However, we've heard myself and others say, let's not take the recreation board at this time. So if we remove the $249,000 from it, that means that we're spending, that we have $500,000 allocated out of $1.2 million. If an amazing idea comes up, one that we just all bow and go, how could we have been so stupid as to overlook this? Between mm -hmm. now and the end of May, we can add it in. But I don't particularly okay. see the, I'm frankly tired of our meetings. And I don't know, maybe you all enjoy these, but there comes a point where, what is the reason to keep on delaying? We agreed, we agreed multiple times that the sidewalk could be a good project. Why do we to vote on? To vote on. Why do we need to endlessly say next meeting, next meeting, next meeting? What is the benefit of endlessly waiting? It's what I don't understand. If it's prepared, it's ready, that's presented, um, I'm going to support it. Uh, I don't see a benefit of waiting. We're, we're one step, but let's move it ahead, move it ahead, move it ahead. That's the only way we're going to get to the end. Right. I would like to, as we agree on where service devices of the pie are going to go, I'd like to shrink the pie so we know what we have left so that we don't keep on thinking, hey, we've got $1.2 million minus $153,000 to still divvy around because I have yet to hear somebody in, the, in this meeting say the sidewalk project is a terrible idea. So why not? Now we have a motion on the floor and it has been seconded on the cemetery item, and you are absolutely welcome to vote any which way you'd like. If there are any discussion remaining on the cemetery item, seeing none, please state your name and your vote. Sarah Aye. Mary Aye. Jeff Aye. Tom um, Now, process. Molly No. Rachel. Uh, I sorry, I couldn't hear what you're voting on. Can you say it slower? I didn't hear you any better. Um, can I just make a guess and you can sh like shake your head? Are you voting on the the cemetery money? Is that correct? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Suddenly I lost your sound. So um, uh, so we're voting on the cemetery. Yes. Okay. So um, Rachel, no. <laughs> and Josh. Yes. And Jay, yes. What is it? I got, I got Kara, Mary, Jeff, Josh, Jay, yes, Tom, Molly, Rachel, no. Okay. Okay. Correct? Correct. 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 Okay. Now, we had discussed briefly last time the suggestion to basically reimburse MMCTV $10,000 for the improvements to the town center and, and rewiring conference rooms for audio and sound. Um, we just with this one. <laughs> That's true. So, Josh, could you tell us just a little bit more about that? Um, yeah, I don't have it. I'm sorry. I didn't know I was in a call room. Can Rachel hear us now? Can you hear us now, Rachel? No, not. I can hear like half. I, I could hear that Josh is talking, but I cannot hear Josh. Are the, um, okay, can you? I'm, I put my screen out of the way. Can you hear us better now? I can hear you. Excellent. Yes. Okay, so a little bit, I can give a little background on this. You found it? Okay. Um, do you have any background? Can you say it? Yeah, I mean, it's basically for the audio view equipment that we use in the select for green room. So, computer, uh, yeah, AV equipment for the green room. Okay. So, it's been like it's here. So, it's been paid it's for. Paid for. Yeah. So, we're paying. You're looking that's, for a reimbursed Pretty much, yeah. That's what, they, okay. that's what yeah. has been asked. Mm -hmm. Okay. And do they ask other towns to do the same thing? They have. Okay. Well, they didn't have to ask Jericho because Jericho did it themselves. And they've got some impressive tech up there. Um, 
uh, speaking as somebody, I went to the Vermont, you know, Vermont something network, the, the trade group of all the Vermont public access channels that was held in Rutland on Friday. And the revenue stream for all the public access channels in Vermont is very far from secure yeah, because it's based in part on fees per user from cable companies. And the in Comcast has not yet reduced its contribution, but they have made it very clear that in, in the very near future, they probably will as the rate of cord cutting um, increases. Um, we, MMCTV is a vital service, in my opinion, because Without it, where all these recordings go, the town would have to invent its own streaming site um, or upload everything to YouTube ourselves. And we would have to handle the wiring, the sound. So this money, $10,000 may sound like, I don't know, and your mileage may vary. $10,000 out of $1.2 million does not sound like a ton, but in the scope of the MMCTV budget, it's huge. I'd like this money to come from the select board paid out of the unassigned funds. I would not like this to come out of the ARPA funds. The select board can make this decision at their next select board meeting and just reimburse MMCTV right out of the unassigned funds, mm -hmm. which we have hundreds of thousands of dollars. And I'm okay rather, with that. I would sure. rather the ARPA funds be, be more focused on ARPA projects versus a reimbursement. We haven't seen any reimbursements yet, and I don't want to see any reimbursements in the future. I would really like it to be something that was planned out. Mm -hmm. so that's and I, I agree with Kara. I mean, I, I very much want to see in the CTV get paid back, but I'm agnostic as to where the money comes from. We, As Kara said, we certainly do have unassigned money we could choose for that. So, um, so we, go to the criteria? We, we certainly can, yeah, sure. I'll bring them back. Home. And I think, you know, just as a process question, I think, I, you know, I don't know how each of us counts, how we go through the criteria, but, you know, I, I, and I'm, I, I'm not trying to be confrontational, but um, it's, it's easier for me to do it myself than mm -hmm. for, for you to do it. Okay, well, there you go. I'm not really, you know, respectful. No, no, absolutely. So if, if we want to make a motion to move this forward, somebody has to make a motion. So we don't really even need to look at the criteria if, no, if we're not going to vote on it. And it can die for lack of a motion, too. So if no one wants to make a motion, that itself speaks. Okay, so Josh and I will work in the agenda for the select board meeting today. I don't think it's locked in stone yet. So mm -hmm. I think it would be appropriate to put it on that agenda. So, and, 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 and you know, again, uh, respectfully, you know, I think. Um, it would be important to for you to state what your relationship is with MMC. Correct. That's actually a very good point. I am chair of the MMC. I am president and treasurer of the MMC TV board. And so um, I was not, I was planning on not voting for that reason, but I neglected to say why. So I'm grateful for your mentioning there. Okay. Thank you. Okay. So, um, uh, uh, Reggie. Uh, I'll say just as a comment. Uh, that I, I find Kara's comment uh, persuasive. Mm -hmm. um, that, it, you know, as I read through the criteria, um, this is not a long lived uh, investment. You know, I kind of think of this. I, one. I don't think we should go through the whole criteria. It's something we're not making a motion on right, right now. I mean, we've got so many other things to go through. I'd rather kick to the next item. Right. That's okay with you. I really respect you saying that, but I don't want to. Right. This is better than as a courtesy. I don't remember whether it's Angelique or Josh who asked for it, but I, I think that a persuasive case has been made. If anybody feels to contrary, you're welcome to move it. I do support the select board. Mm -hmm. Okay. So our agenda item that we're still kind of working our way through now is which projects do we feel comfortable moving on down? We've, we, this one would be shaded purple, but this is not the editable copy. I, my opinion, I'd like to just see what people think about this. Um, I do have a list of what the recreation committee asked for that I'm going to display just so we know what we're doing. Can I ask that you table that until the I just I, I know I just want a dollar and ask that we mm -hmm. I also want to show what the official request sure. from the recreation committee was. And that is coming uh you wanted twenty five thousand I think was the playground. Right. Ten thousand was for Repairs to the Vanshaw, I think. Here we go. So, like I said, coming up. So, this was the Recreation Committee's official request list. It's not being shared. It's not shared. It'll be shared. Rachel has her hand up. Hey, Rachel. 
Yeah, I just have a question um, because you had all talked about you had talked about um, trying to vote through those yellow items. And um, I won't be able to stay much longer just because I have little kids who need to go to bed. Uh, but can I vote in advance in the event that it comes to a vote? Is that possible? Not really, but I can be, I can accelerate this. Well, we, uh, we, which one would you, let's table this one for the moment and let's move on to the sidewalk. Well, sidewalk is what's left. Yeah, I I would be in favor of, uh, I, I feel like the sidewalks is a one huge package, um, whether y'all want to vote for one by one by one or all together, uh, I would be in favor of voting for that, because I feel like that has been the longest, most well described project, maybe we've heard a lot from the transportation people, a lot of times, so I'd like to separate them if we can. Um, There's the one that was already approved by the grant that we just got is different than the one we don't have a grant for. Okay. Because it has to be matching. Anybody can make a motion would like to make a motion. So I would move, uh, you know, I'll move that we consider those the three top items in yellow related to the sidewalk as one project. Okay, but we, and, we consider it as one project. But make the motion in terms of what is our action. Our Group action together. is for us to vote on, on the sidewalk projects for those top three items on those on the on, on. can we bring that the yellow list back up oh well, i'm sorry uh, the yeah, street, yeah. complete streets and municipal oversight and the bridge street east sidewalk matching for tap grant uh, that I, I i move that we vote on all three of those it's one well second engineering oversight um the grant doesn't include that okay we have a motion from jeff ward to and a second from molly dugan to treat the Three sidewalk items, the Bridge Street Complete Street, the Bridge Street East Sidewalk, which is matched by temp grant, and the municipal oversight, the engineering and so forth oversight that is not included in the grant promise or in the exhibit of two items as a, as a single recommendation. Is there discussion? Um, so to be clear, we're not voting on approving this or not approving it. We're voting on combining them. Okay, three. we have a vote to combine them. Three. Is there any further discussion? If you please take your name and your vote. Wait, is there a second? Molly. I second. I, um... Hey, please take your name and your vote. This is for combining the three into Mary? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Jeff, yes. Molly, yes. Rachel, yes. Jay, yes. Fair enough. Uh, Josh, yes. Is that so everybody accepted? Everybody care. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Okay, we now have. Can I ask a question before you make a motion of the document? Mm -hmm. At one point, the 64000 was an incorrect amount because the select board had already budgeted in the budget a line item for the new sidewalks. Like, well, I'm going to grab around $32,000. Mm -hmm. So that sixty four was supposed to get reduced by mm -hmm. what was already put in the budget at town meeting for that piece of that 20% matching of the 80% mm -hmm. grant we got. Okay, so, so that's the only question I have on the numbers. And that's why I wanted to just do them separately is because I thought that number had to be modified. Maybe it doesn't, you guys are gonna update me. Well, to that point, I'd like to remind everybody that the numbers here are recommendations. Okay. Mm -hmm. And the select board should absolutely in its due diligence verify these amounts okay. and then communicate to us that actually we are grabbing only this much and you have this much to put back in the Thank you. I appreciate that. Yeah. Okay, so I would move that we recommend to the select board. And I don't want to know what the math is. Three eighteen. Actually, I think three eighteen five oh nine. I think that's what it is. Three eighteen five oh nine. We recommend up to three eighteen five oh nine for the uh, the Bridge Street sidewalks from. I believe this goes from Esplanade up to Main Street. Is that correct? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so the grand total would be 318,500. Yeah, 318,509 okay. uh, up to that amount mm -hmm. um, uh, for, for the what I would consider a complete streets project um, uh, from uh, is it Esplanade. It's about Esplanade up to um, Main Street. Okay. And I'd like to add one other detail that seems to come up and have not come up tonight. Wait, can I, uh, so, yeah. so we second that? Well, we have a second. 
And I just want to make sure the 318.509 is all three that we just combined. Yeah. Right. That's the match with Pat Grant from Esplanade okay. to Julian Court. Okay, you said Esplanade. Okay, gotcha. Okay. But who's the four? Who's seven? We have the house. Okay. All right. If the judge made a motion to treat these as one item, is there a second? No, he gave the dollar amount. Oh. Man. Okay. So is there? An, did you make a motion? Yeah. Okay. Motion to treat these as one thing. Do we have a second to just motion? Of the total, no, oh, the, to recommend the dollars. We already combined them. I know that. Mm -hmm. This is, you've made a motion to now do the dollar. 318,000. I don't know. I'll second. Okay, the motion from Jeff Ford and a second from Robert Tony. Using yeah. all the money. Okay. Okay. One minor thing that I just feel like I should mention because it's come up and I just like us to be on the same page. As far as the cemetery goes. Um, the plan for the cemetery by the side end is mm -hmm. to have a five foot grass buffer plus a sidewalk, but ground sensing radar will be used. And if there is human remains, archaeological remains found closer to the curb, then would, if we, were, we will not build a sidewalk on top of it. If we have to reduce the grass to zero at that block, we will. And if the remains are closer than that, we will not have a sidewalk in the middle. That's just and clarification, you folks are doing the engineering on verifying that. Right. Josh is looking Correct. for, I believe, the ground sensing radar contractor. Well, we haven't quite gotten that, but we will. Okay. okay. Right. That's part of the $35,000. That'll be part of, okay. right, the, and part of the 64 that goes into the planning. And, okay. Yeah. So we have a motion. To out to recommend to the select board and not not to exceed three two thousand five hundred nine for these three related sidewalk items. Is there any further discussion? If we have a second to it, then we can discuss it. Just second it. Is there any further discussion? Okay, seeing no further discussion, please state your name, Rachel. I'm sorry. Um, I'm talking to my laptop. Please state your name and your vote. There you go. Rachel, yes. Jeff, yes. Molly, yes. Josh, yes. Fair enough. Um, no. And Jay, yes. And Jay, yes. So is that five to three? Got okay. Mary, Tara, Tom, no. Rachel, Jeff, Molly, Josh, Jay, yes. Okay. So, Rachel, um, I don't envision, but I, I'm only the chair, any further items being recommended for tonight. We do not have a price. I've asked, I've asked Linda to come in the face. Would she please give us a dollar amount for digitization? And she keeps saying, blah, blah, blah. Well, we have a vendor who wants to take it to New Hampshire, and that's, that's a non starter. Like, okay, do you have a vendor who could do it here? And she does not seem to be very interested in coming up with any kind of salt money. Uh, I, I, what are you talking about? The digitization of land I, I, I must have, I probably have it. You know, I, I, I would uh, take exception to that. I think that Linda has many things that she's doing. She does, but I've asked her a lot of times. And, and, you know, and, and I, this is a, to, to my mind, it's a, it's a worthy project. I think we should do it. And it's complicated. It's a complicated project that's going to require a fair amount of research, even to understand what we sure. digitize. Um, on the other hand, we do have money in the budget for digitization, and we own a side plan to extend. In fact, yeah. I think we should do it. I will just say, Linda. I mean, Linda is very busy. She is not here tonight mm -hmm. because she is at another meeting, oh, sure. and she had two others. Yeah. That but it's still going to be just. Okay, I'm just saying that's why you got me, folks. <laughs> no, I totally agree. I'm saying until we got a dollar amount, we have nothing to vote on. Right, and, and, and it may not need to be um, uh, a vote for a dollar amount from this committee to the select board. Mm -hmm. It could be a recommendation from this committee that we support the concept mm -hmm. wherever the money comes from, because we've got what $169,000 in reference restoration. Yeah, I'm right. going to go one other thing, Jeff. 
Yeah, I'm not in. That's why I'm trying the to get recommendation that we pursue this and that the select board consider. But if the yeah. issue is, if maybe we put an RFP out. Maybe yeah, put an RFP out I, and stop I waiting for a contract from the vendor. And put an RFP out there mm -hmm. because Linda's not responsible for the zoning reference or the listing mm -hmm. reference. I agree. Right. So, so this is going to take time. The reason I referenced Linda is because this was literally the very first proper request yes. we got. Yes. And that was a year and a half ago. And we still have not got a dollar amount. So I can't in good conscience suggest we vote. It's a dollar amount, but she didn't give us an estimated. And then I asked her how solid the dollar amount was, and she said, well, that was just kind of a gap. I'm like, I think the process is exactly right. What we should be doing, and probably the select board should manage it, is we should do the, you know, through, the, through, the, through the town manager, is find an RFP, because there's got to be one out there, or some other town has done that, mm -hmm. and, and get some proposals in. Figure out about how much it's going to cost, and then the select board figure out where the money is going to come from. Sure. If some of it has to come from ARPA money. Yeah, it, well, and there's the land records money. Yeah. That, you know, right. You know that reserve amount, and you know if yeah. you try to match something, you have so to. I, I, I see no urgency to move anything related to the land records board tonight. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Okay. Which, if we look at the list, the green we've done, the first three lines below the green we've done. The repair of headstones we have done. I'm sorry, the fence repair of headstones. The recreation of them. The recreation committee came to us with a request for two hundred forty-nine thousand dollars. And as I was trying to share that list a little while ago, this is not. I need to share that list and keep sharing only the window and not my screen, which is I'm being done. Um, arrows. And I, I keep forgetting her name. Grace Holbeck. Grace would like to come and present to us on her recommendation, which she has more detail on since the last time we call it. This list, $200,000 for playground, smaller amounts for um, repairs to the van shelf, sign replacement, tables, $10,000, benches, $5,000, playground, $200,000, signage, $2,000, large green sign replacement. Rachel's leaving and she's not serving anymore. So, Rachel, we want to just say thank you very much for serving with us. Yeah, absolutely. Thank you. Thank you. So bad. You have to go. <laughs> yeah, I just left a message in there that you could read later, but I wanted to say I also, because of my kids, I really need to be present at night. And these meetings have been really hard on our family. So I won't be able to do them in the future, but I'll kind of keep tracking and I'm rooting for you guys. So thank you so much for the privilege to share, serve. I hope to be able to do it again in the future in some capacity. Thank you, Rachel. Thank you. Rachel. <laughs> thank you. <clears throat> so long story short, two reasons not to take the recreation on board tonight. One, we have a more concrete proposal well, we have a fairly concrete proposal. I wouldn't say more because this does have dollar amounts from Grace. We all accept this, but um, one thing I personally heard loud and clear from the residents of town is that without doing a lot of public input, hearings on where people can make, can make requests, suggestions, and really look at maps, look at plans, that um, I don't feel comfortable moving it forward, given how many people ask for there to be significant public input on this. So are we not moving it forward at all? Because no, no, no. Or are we making a recommendation to the select board that they open up the public hearing that, and this amount of money has been allocated and they can pick and choose well, what they want, what we're recommended. Right. This amount of money is recommended. I mean, we can all decide on like picking on the list and selecting how much we want to recommend if we want to recommend any at all. Right. That's but right. I just want to make sure because if the idea is that the carpet committee isn't going to move any recreation forward because of wanting more public input, then Grace doesn't have to present to the ARPA committee. She has to present to the select board. Well, right. In response to that, it's a good question. Um we know from looking at the at the unconsolidated survey recommendation and from the collated survey recommendations that recreation was a huge area of interest in town. So mm -hmm. I, by no means am I saying let's not move from recreation money. I just don't feel comfortable doing it tonight. And in fact, I don't even necessarily know that I would feel comfortable doing it anytime soon, really, because we need more concrete details. That's one where I want to get it right. Not get it done fast. Molly. Question. So Grace, it's Grace, right? Grace. Yeah. Uh, is her how 
Has she been working through the recreation committee with her representative? Okay. So we'll see presenting them. It started with the recreation committee presenting them. Yeah. Yeah. And that's where I then heard from a UBS student. Yes. It was like, I can do a redesign of the park and then you're interested in reached out to the I reached out to the rec group or actually right here, Alfred, mm -hmm. would you like some help with this? They said yes. She worked on the design. She presented it to the rec okay. group. That's right. And the rec group said there was some miscommunication. They said that Jay, our committee chair, said that they couldn't come back for any more oh, money. They were never it, was mis, it was a miscommunication. Okay. They yeah. thought that they could only come for what they asked for. Mm -hmm. So right then they said, we can't go any further with this. So I cleared up the way, airways between Jeff and them and they were like, okay. Then they didn't have the time to research the cost of the proposed ideas. Mm -hmm. So then that started the research of the cost of proposed ideas. And then the rec committee met with the zoning administrator officer who said nothing can be done, which is only maintenance of what you've got, which is not true because I mm -hmm. have been a floodplain expert um, since mm -hmm. before travel was hiring. Mm -hmm. And I reached out to the state contacts and confirmed that you, yes, you can still do things. Mm -hmm. You might just have to, uh, the select board might have to vote to waive its own zoning regulation for certain items, case in point of basketball court. I know that's a loaded issue. Not everybody wants the basketball court and volunteer screen because they like the open space. But if we put a basketball court in and it was flooded a couple of days a year, it might need repainting or something, but it's not going to be destroyed. That would be a question that we'd have to say, do we want a basketball court there badly enough to waive the zone regulations? That is not a topic for this committee, not even a topic we need to address soon. I need, I need to just, I need to refine my question. Mm -hmm. I, what I really want to know is, Will, what Grace is coming up with, will she have gone through the Recreation Committee with that? She went the idea, hold on, let me just finish yep. here, uh, so that when we hear about it, will we know if the Recreation Committee supports it or not? The Recreation Committee, mm -hmm. she presented to the Recreation Committee, yep. and the question was, should, should we go forward kind of thing? Okay. That's where I'm talking about the hurdles of every time it got stopped mm -hmm. was because this reason, this oh. reason, this reason. It's never been stop. We don't want any of this. Mm -hmm. It's never been that way. It's always okay. been, well, we can't do it. Mm -hmm. We can't do it. So at this point in time, where is it? It's nobody else has seen it but the rec committee. Okay. Because of all those different places mm -hmm. and stop them. So at some point, it's going to be presented to somebody other than just the rec committee because only the rec committee has seen it. Okay. And did the rec committee? They take. They took no vote. Okay, that's what I'm wondering. Okay. They took no vote. Okay. Right. So right. We don't know if they liked it or anything, like if they would recommend it to us. But I guess I feel like if I'm going to be considering a recreation idea, I want to make sure that the rec recreation committee has, has told us what they Then we got into the issue that the rec committee is a all Richmond residents. So there are times for there are Huntington and Bolton on the committee members. Mm -hmm. So you couldn't take a vote with outside because we had already decided non town um, people were going to non Richmond residents were not going to have. In our whole thing that we did when we went back and we did the cards and mailed them out, we had to be a rich and resident. So there was all that issue. So mm -hmm. where we are at right now is mm -hmm. I really think this presentation has to happen somewhere to start the public discussion to then, if the people in power have any idea of anything they want, they then do the public meetings, they then hear from the public. Mm -hmm. So this yeah. presentation that we'll get next time. Will be no different than what she presented to the recreation the, committee. The, the layout and plan will be no different. Okay. Just the prices. She'll have the price. Yes. And okay, the goal was for them to have to go get the prices and for them to have to decide on okay. materials, but they said we don't have time. Okay. That's helpful. Thank you. And the expectation will be that, that we vote on that proposal. I don't know. No, I don't see that time. No, 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 no. I don't see us voting at that point. There's no. still much more to be discussed. For example, if you look at this list. Um, nowhere in here is an alternative energy item with for building structures and volunteers green and we're and we are rebuilding things. I would really like to see some solar panels put on top of things. That's just one minor thing. That is proposed right. And so in her design, solar in this list, there's no solar on on Grace's list there. So those are some of the things we we do have recommendations. We do have suggestions from 10 people who filled out our survey that alternative energy is not just something that 
move on out of. They'd like to see something done about it. And I think with guilty birds with one stone, for, and, and I keep wanting to call her Rachel, I don't know why. Rachel just signed off. Grace, her proposal apparently does include incorporation of silver. That's just, that's why I don't, this is one area I do not think we're going to be in a rush. And at the end of the day, we may wind up saying to the select board, um, we, recreation was a very strong point of emphasis. I remember hearing recreation was like the number one thing. Mm -hmm. I mean, across right. the board, I, even no matter where you put it, mm -hmm. it was number one. We were hearing it constantly. Oh, absolutely. And, and just okay. because it's not, it's not just volunteer screening, it's also brown sport. Mm -hmm. It's both the two parks that, that have it, um, just to let you know. But I really want her to present you guys ask questions yeah. and then her not be here for negative public feedback when it was something she was volunteering to do. I just that's why I don't want to vote the night she's here. I don't I think we take our time. We are able to take the plans and look at them and, and do all of that kind of stuff. Go ahead. And would you have public input after people saw the yes. plans? Yeah, I think that's very important. Yes. At, on my aspect. I would want public input. Oh, okay. absolutely. Can I, Sorry. Can I make a suggestion? It's kind of a flavor of what I was suggesting all along is that we set predetermined dates, June, September, December, and say this meeting is all we do is vote on projects that are ready to move forward. And we allocate the money that way. If it's not ready, it doesn't get voted on on that day. Up to that day, we listen to Ideas and debate and talk about the pros and cons, mm -hmm. but we set one date and one date only, and all we do is vote on projects that are ready to move forward mm -hmm. on that date. You allocate the money, and then we have X number of dollars left for the next right. quarter. And Tom, I agree with that. If you look back up, I don't know if I made it too small to read. Um, we just voted no on three. Yes, I know. Four. But That's they because ready. they were ready. I just want to point out if you look at the I list, they were ready. It wasn't noticed as being today's the day we were going to vote. In fact, I thought the minutes minutes that okay. we were going to wait. I can ask you one question. When you mean ready to vote, well, I just want to make sure. Can ready to vote mean you've actually had a hearing and seen a presentation yeah, on it? You had dollars. Okay, because I don't think so, we all get emailed something like, like if the 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 redesigned park redesigned dollar amounts are there along with the presentation. I think you don't get emailed the most. You get the presentation that night, and then you take all the information with you, and it goes down the road further. Even though it could have all the information that night, I don't want to vote on it that mm -hmm. night. Does that make sense? Right. And if I could get finished my statement, if you look at the list, there are essentially two items left. The green has been approved. The first um, three lines of yellow and the fifth yellow have been approved. We have pretty much agreed that while we love MMC to, to be a desk, speaking of the president, we don't feel that she can out of our money. We don't have a number for the judgment and record. So what does that leave? It leaves two items, town center and recreation. Recreation, in my opinion, is far too nebulous. There's nothing to really vote on at this point. And town center, we don't have a specific wish list with dollar amounts attached to it. I'd be happy to speak to that, but do you want me to speak to that tonight? Well, I would actually welcome that. Sure. Go ahead. Okay, so where the town center is at, we will have a presentation on Monday, I hope, over on the agenda from you. Yeah. Um, and uh, uh, Monday, yeah. Okay. Thank you. Uh, we've gone through quite a bit of, uh, of uh, work determining that we can renovate this building, that we don't think it's appropriate to add another structure to, to this building or on the site, and, and that um, uh, uh, what we are considering is we're considering as far as ARPA money, we're considering energy items as, as part of, of the request. It could be um, uh, equipment, HVAC equipment, it could be solar. Um, but at this point, we only got to the to, to that point in the design process of three weeks ago, which is not enough time for the um, the architects and the engineers to mm -hmm. finalize their design enough to come up with the dollar. Mm -hmm. 
So yes, and it would, it my, my guess is we're talking hundreds of thousands of dollars. Mm -hmm. If we were to talk about, you know, my back of the envelope estimate on solar, if we were able to do it on this roof, which is a challenge, it's an old building, you know, it, 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 we use about 40,000 kilowatt hours a year. Um, on It's three sides, not just south, but three sides. So you get a little bit less production out of it. Um, I think we would need somewhere around 40 to 50 kilowatts in order to cover the amount of energy that we use right now. Maybe more if we if we add, you know, heat pump, you know, if we replace fossil fuel technology with, with electric technology for heating. So 50, 60 kilowatts. I don't know if we have enough room on site to do that much. Um, that would cost probably around 300000 mm hours. -hmm. Somewhere in that neighborhood. If we wanted to upgrade the uh, mechanical equipment uh, to, you know, to go fossil free or be ready to be net zero going fossil free, that would add some amount. So, you know, it wouldn't surprise me if, if we came up with a number, if we wanted to get to a net zero number of somewhere around $500,000. Mm -hmm. And this is a total project of still $6.8 million. It's probably a little bit less than that because we're not building a new building. So we when we, were talking, we were talking about new buildings on this site, additions to this building on site, a sally port and all that nonsense for the, for the police. Um, we've scaled back the police department so that it fits within this building. Uh, uh, and um, it's hard to say, you know. Okay. So we, we haven't done the construction yesterday, that comes later on in the design process. Um so the town center process is not lined up exactly with the army. And that's why there hasn't been a dollar increase. Is that good enough that's explanation? Mm -hmm. Okay. So it, it would be, you know, what we could do, you know, if we wanted to think about it. You know, in some ways it's similar to the recreation money. It's it's like I don't know if I want to vote on a specific design. I, I, actually, I do know that I do not want to vote on a specific design for the recreation that uh, uh, volunteer is bringing. I, I very specifically do not want to do that because it needs a lot more public input than we can do. And there's a lot of controversy over it. So I think it should just yeah. go to the so, so let me finish. So, you know, um, uh, that will take time. However, I would not be adverse to allocating money towards recreation, a certain amount. Whatever it is, towards well, not like check, just a number. A number. Okay. And something that. like that. I wouldn't be at first. Good to that. But All right. So, question back to ARPA money needs to be spent by what day? Twenty in the twenty twenty six. Okay. So spent you, by what? So but allocated by twenty twenty four. So you so still have a year right now. Year and a half. So, do you think you folks are going to get that done within a year? To, to uh, Engin it. for engineering and getting numbers. Oh, yeah, we're gonna, we hope to go to yeah. okay. by November. Okay. okay. I, I, just because knowing times with construction right. and stuff. Uh, so we, we landed on, uh, you know, what we want to go okay. forward with the best design concept. We need to get buy in from the select board. That's why we're presenting on Monday. Okay. And if we get go ahead on Monday, then the architects can, you okay. know, whatever is going to Process. So, with that in mind, I ask you. I, I found the Excel version. I know we're, we're well over, but we are on the one stretch. I think I changed the grant. The things we've approved in our grant. The things that recreation. We know we want to spend a chunk of money there. I just don't think we have. We don't know how much we're going to spend. This leaves seven hundred thousand, seven hundred six thousand dollars. At this point. We've taken care of things that were fairly settled. The remaining things, I'm in no hurry, no hurry whatsoever. If it takes, if it takes till the end of September, I'm totally okay with that. I was just tired of having the things that we've discussed to death keep on. Let's vote the next time. Um, but I want to hear a good proposal from the town center committee. I'm looking forward to Monday night. We've got you out here for at least a half hour. Um, and I also look forward to making some significant rec recreation improvements. I just don't know after all said and done what they're going to be. But we have to kind of, you know, if you wish to mentally cut that $706,000 into $300,000 for rec, $400,000 for solar. 
if you want to do it that way. You can middle, break it up in your mind however you like. But is there anybody here who feels an urgency to start voting stuff related to that out? I don't. So I have a suggestion. I wonder if I could float a suggestion on the, the recreation piece of this. Um, it seems to me that, um, you know, redoing volunteer screen is a worthy project. You know, it fits a lot of our criteria. You know, that's a worthy project. However, it really is going to require pretty robust public input process. So we're going to mm -hmm. be um, and it's, I don't think it's, I don't think this committee is the right committee to do it. Mm -hmm. um, and with all due respect, I'm not sure the recreation committee is either because it, it, mm -hmm. um, uh, you know, so, you know, we have set up a committee uh, for gardening, mm -hmm. you know, we've set up this committee, we've got lots of committees in town. Um, and some of them are hard to, hard to populate. My guess is this one will not be, uh, because there's a lot of interest and there's always already been a lot of interest in this particular mm -hmm. issue. Um, uh, and my suggestion would be the select board. Mm -hmm. uh, oh, yeah. green. A specific committee for, yeah. for our board. recreation uh, our, uh, properties uh, to evaluate proposals mm -hmm. and come, come to the select board with a recommendation. Mm -hmm. How about we do this? How about we let this, the UVM student finish what her I was, I would love to see. How about she presented the select board and then the select board takes that as a to create the committee. Well, you know, I mean, you know, I have to say, the select board is really busy on um, these days. There are a lot of really heavy issues um, uh, that are urgent, you know, that, that, uh, and it, 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 our meetings are going to pass 11 o'clock each month. Well, no, actually, next meeting. I'm just saying, I'm for the FCA. I've got a couple of meetings over by 10, going towards that. But it's, it's difficult because we have a lot of this. So um, uh, I would like us to see the presentation. Mm -hmm. I, I'm not trying to shut down that presentation. I would like to see it. You know, I mean, in some ways, I think it would be responsible because we get talked about, about this proposal and, and we've never seen it. And I would like to see it. Mm -hmm. Um, and it would be stimulating. And at least you have a couple of select board members that, that, that have seen it and it would be stimulating. Right, and I would agree with Jeff that a park a, a park committee to, to do due diligence and speak public input would, would make a lot of sense. And until we have something back that the select board, we, that committee feels good about, I think we mentally just look at that number and say, remember to leave a big chunk of that for rack. Yeah. Or even the 250. I don't mind the, 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 I don't mind the dollar amount. I, I would quibble with some of the items on it. Oh, I, I agree. Um, so um, but so that's what and, and that, you know, and everybody's it's not actually be a challenging committee. Everybody's got an opinion. It is really kind of funny though, a lot of the things that those fourth graders just asked for. Yeah. yeah well, <laughs> how do you put in the design? Yeah. It's really just ironic. We should invite us. Somebody who somebody that's gone to school for these things is mm -hmm. at that level graduating and you have fourth graders and like, can we just have them? No, I don't. That's my suggestion. Maybe that's okay. something for us to stop. So we can take it off the art list. Or well, let me take that to you. All right. Um, <laughs> you don't need to see me at the Bacardi facility. Um, <laughs> or as they say, they're Bacardi. <laughs> so this is what I think I'm hearing. And I haven't heard this from everybody, so this is why I'm saying this. That we want detailed public input on Bacardi. Okay. And yes. we want mm -hmm. to give the town center committee adequate time to put together a concrete proposal. There's no rush. On either of them. And we have the town center committee and proposal will have a lot of problems. Absolutely. Has, and it will so, 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 under the subject of future direction of this committee, we now have job this kind of where I'd like to be, where we have a fund and we have two expected uses of that fund, mm -hmm. bearing in mind that. Somebody could come along next week and go, oh, my God, you made a great point. I would agree that Tom has a very good point. We should set a hard date that we all agree on for any new projects. And if no one else comes forward, then recreation and town center. We give you the money up between them potentially. But we don't, we cut off the date at the end of May. No more yeah. new projects, as we've been saying that was the day. Yeah. And after May, we divvy up how much we think should go in each direction. We don't make the final decision on either project. 
that is a select board big public hearing level, but we allocate, we recommend the allocation of certain dollar amounts to go to one project and certain dollar amounts to go to the other project. Mm -hmm. And the select board might make a different decision. You know, so might, you know, All two right. months from now, somebody might come in with a, um, a suggestion on how to make uh, the Bridge Street commercial block more handicapped as best. Which I think we do. Except yeah. if they yeah. want that, I would kind of ask where have they been the last year and a half. So, um, but um, well, you uh, you decide how you want to doesn't need to be you just really decide how you want to spend the money and yeah. Period. Yeah. So the two of you sitting here could change what we've done. But I don't want whole to. Year, whole year. Okay. I'm, I know you don't no. want to. I'm just saying. So I agree with Tom. Do we are we? I make the motion that we stop accepting new projects as of the end May. I was gonna, well, I was going to pick that uh, weekday. I thought we already voted on that last time. Here. I thought that's it what just that. we voted. We did vote. I think we did agree. Okay. Okay. Yeah. But yet we then voted today. I also okay. want to recommend when we didn't notice that we not have another that we not have another meeting until can we look at a calendar and pick a date. That's a good idea. Yeah. But it, maybe it's two months out because that's a, good idea. Okay. That's a big challenge there, Mary. Yeah. <laughs> So I just want to make sure I'm hearing you guys right. You still want now Grace to present here, or you want her to present at the select board? I, I, I would like it here myself. Okay, I just I want to make sure. sure. And, and and that could be you know a dedicated meeting for that. That would be okay. With okay, you. that'd be great. You know, half hour presentation. Is that what this would be? Okay, May thirty first. Presentation, discussion, questions and answers. Okay. As it happens, May thirty first appears to be a Wednesday. Okay. Isn't that Memorial Day? Well, Memorial Day would be the same. It's a Monday. It's Monday. So the 31st mm -hmm. of May. Can we already make that? Next week. We'll have a presentation. Can we make sure we do it in the very Get it on a non-VRB. On the second Wednesday, and the very VRB is not in it, yeah. right? Um, we're we'll looking at what day we're looking at? We'll, be look, we'll stay at the 10th. We'll be looking at the 24th. Oh, no. Uh -huh. For two weeks from now? Yeah. So this, this is the 10th. Two weeks from tonight is the 24th. Yeah. Do you want to do it that early or do you want to push out? I'm going to a hundred dollar dinner on the 31st. Oh, so see ya. <laughs> I think if we can get the bigger room, I think having Grace driven on the 24th. So do you want to do it on June is my question to you. Do you want to get more time or you want to do the 24th or the 31st? Or we could not have another meeting in May. That's why I thought we were going to another meeting in May until the end of June, the 31st pass. And go to Our next, if we go to the second Wednesday, it would be the 14th of June. I'm okay with that, but again, I, what do you think? The flag day. Okay, so Friday. have our next meeting on Friday. Friday. Have, and so there is a there is a DRB meeting on the 14th. Well, that would be the second. That would be the big one. Okay, um, just for Brent, what what's going on with that? Um, Uh, planning commission. Could they come in here? But they've been virtual a lot lately. So they could be in here. Or they could just be nowhere. Okay. 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 I'm going to the seventh. Is there anybody who objects to having a meeting in the big conference room on the seventh? Yeah. Work. Okay. Then I think we have June okay. Surge. I've got one more question. So when do we go to present in front of the select board? Do we know? You don't, don't. I don't think you you just the have recommendation to. goes from us. Oh, goes right. from you. We don't have to I'm, present again. Okay. Have. We have I, you know, Jeff, you know how it goes. You know, Josh and I, <laughs> I we've talked about the agenda. Did you have, have something I mean, you never know? There's quite a remember. So are we canceling. Uh, we're not I, having one. Sorry. We're not having one to the gym stuff. Do you want to I don't think okay. I have anything. Okay. I don't think that. Um, Sounds good. I will be adjourned. Yes. Okay. Okay. Motion second. Okay. With motion made by Kara, second by a lot of people. I'll <laughs> state your name and your vote. Kara, right. yes. Yeah, yeah. Molly, yes. Molly. Um, uh, okay. Thank you, everybody, and we'll see you on June 7th. Thank you. Um, and and uh, thank you, Jay. This was actually a productive. I didn't think this was a productive. Oh, it's really this one.